everyone, now here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vintage toy unboxing. Specifically, My Little Pony Generation 1. <laughs> After uh, the last unboxing that I did, which was like all Generation 4 and okay, some Generation 3 ponies, uh, today I have a complete Generation 1 unboxing for you again. Uh, here already my question for you. Uh, how do you actually prefer um, me doing like putting together uh, these unboxings when I bought uh, stuff online? Do you prefer to do like um, one single toy line at a time? Like just a Polly Pocket unboxing or just a Pony unboxing? Or should I mix them up because that's more fun for you? Like, uh, you know, when I did like um, a little bit of, I don't know, Lilith Pet Shop vintage and then some some uh, Cherry Mary Muffin and the Polly Pocket and some ponies or I don't know, together? Or do you want them more separate? Is it, do you enjoy complete Generation 1 unboxings? <laughs> because, I don't know, I can do both because sometimes I have like multiple things um, ordered and laying around in boxes. So, and for today I chose some packages uh, that contain um, G1 ponies. So let's get started. Let's start here with the pony. I think um, it, it's not a big surprise which ones are in here because I put them specifically together like this. Um, so we don't have like like huge, huge unboxing. will be um, long enough for sure. Okay, that's a lot of pink. And far as I can remember. Yes, that's also a pink pony, so toe matching, that's good. Um, I bought this pony on eBay such a long time ago and uh, like right after I filmed like for example the last uh, big like unboxing with lots of ponies and that's that's already so long time ago and I already forgot that I had that uh, until I put the boxes together and then I was like oh yeah then then let's put this in here. Oh, it's Lickety Split. Lickety Split is one of the early Earth ponies uh, from year three. Like they, she was released together with Posey and with um, Cherry's Jubilee, Tootsie, uh, these ponies. Uh, so she is, she's just very simple in the in the um, Posey pose. She, she's got a light pink body and she's got ice cream cones here and she's got pink hair which is the infamous fading pink and actually I had Lickety Split at one time uh, or at one point already but I used her for a custom so when I saw her um, and she's not in the very best condition um, but like I just put my bid like I don't know five euro or something and then I forgot about it so it's, it's a pony that I forgot about multiple times I'm so sorry like to split you're so cute um, and then I won the auction for I don't know what it was like five, four euro or something so um, that's totally okay her hair is still pretty um, pink I mean on camera it never looks like that pink but from the tail you definitely can tell it is a little bit maybe I also re-hair re her because there's some plugs missing here and yeah but I'm happy so this time I will definitely keep her as Lexi Split and not use her as a custom she's an Italy girl like always so something interesting about the Italy ponies is I think all of them or almost most of them have blue eyes when like some other I don't know what like splits eye color would be in a different um, like for example the normal Hong Kong version but uh, if you got the Italy version all of them have actually blue eyes it's strange to see uh, this pony again when I actually like <laughs> already painted over it like not over this but um yeah let's see how the hair turns out if i can like rescue it or if i give her just a new uh, pink hair anyways okay then let's get to this package which is actually the biggest although it should just contain one pony so let's see if i'm correct or is this the one uh, 
No, it's that's correct. That's correct. This is actually something that I wanted for so long now. And for some reason, she just didn't show up anywhere for me to buy her. This is Princess Serena. And with her now, finally, my Princess Pony um, set, like the first uh, Princess Ponies from year five is now complete. I mean, I have all the ponies, but not, not complete. I do not have all the accessories or something, but um, you know, these are the you have seen me unbox all of the others are the ones that have tinsel in mane and tail and have these uh, sculpted on it's not sculpted it's actually like a metal thing <laughs> that they put on as the symbol with a little uh, gemstone in there and yeah this is princess serena or as she um in like if you're more like uh, referring to the uk name she is princess um Princess Aquamarine. Um, maybe you can like remember that because of the color. But she has that's lovely because she still also has most of her uh, pink hair and the tinsel. The tinsel is gold. So I will just try to repink it a little bit more. But I'm pretty happy. And also the symbol has still the little bit of tint of pink, which is which is so cool. Um, and she's got heart, and this is like oh, this pink is like beautiful. She's also got pink, uh, pink uh, eyes. That's lovely. She has one problem, which is here she has some smudges of I don't know some pen on her. Let's see if I can get rid of that. If not. It's not the worst because it's absolutely not the display side, it's like the other side, so. So happy! Finally I have all the princess ponies from the first princess ponies uh, set, of course, uh, together and I definitely won't start with now, yes, now I want the princess set too because they are like they are kind of elusive, I never see them, they are pretty expensive, they were never released over here to begin with, so they are difficult to get, but finally, I mean, can you see them? Let's, let's put like a split back here, so, oh, here, here they are, and now she can join them, and maybe now as I have them complete, uh, they will get a new place somewhere over there in my more like like, mm, I don't want to say main display because this is my main display, but this is the display where some of the complete sets um, uh, go to. So, and I chose um, the next three packages mainly because um, because it's also princess pony themed. So let's let's start. It's a very small one, so you can maybe guess it's not a pony. Okay, so as always I had just a small look inside if that's really what I ordered etc. So I know but I've never opened this and really had a look. So what have we here? Ooh, it's a princess wand. It's a, it's, it's nearly the same color as her, but uh, it's, it's, I don't know exactly which pony they go to because it's a little bit difficult because the US releases had different colors than the UK releases, probably the German releases as well. I mean, this is not a German, German pony, but some of the ponies released in German were also the normal releases and then they had different accessories. So, um, but this teal or more like turquoise color of Princess Wand actually let's 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 have a look because I wrote it down should either have come with a uh, princess sparkle so with her which totally makes sense it's like her hair color that's 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 great or um, there was also one in this color or slightly different just that came with one of the princesses from the second set so um, 
Oh, this is misty, like the purple one, but let's pretend it's the one from the first set. So, these can get pretty A, difficult to get, and B, expensive. And um, I have to say, I have to admit, I splurged a little bit on this because afterwards, um, after I like bought uh, Princess Serena, actually she's also from eBay and I won her for for definitely a good price. It was definitely below 15 euros, so like, I don't know, sure, didn't write it down, but 13, 14, something, something around that. So um, definitely a very good price and this one was more expensive than the pony, let's, let's say it like this. Yeah, sure, I should not have bought it, but I was like looking for princess accessories at that point because now I want all the accessories. And I was looking for like a couple of weeks and couldn't find anything, always just this one. And the same seller actually had another princess accessory and then I was really like, come on, I don't care, then I pay this like amount of money. Shoot me. So, I just did it. That's one of the damsel hats. I only have one. Uh, you can see my, no you can't see, <laughs> but here you can see my princess royal blue with a blue head. And here I get uh, the a purple one. A purple one with uh, stars and moon. So I wrote it down. Uh, that one should have come with Princess Tiffany. So if you are considering the US releases then Princess Tiffany had one like this. Um, if you're more going through the uh, UK releases for example then um, it could have been uh, the like Amethyst or, or Sapphire. So um, I will probably put this on Princess Tiffany's head. So. They all have these these ribbons that have like gold at the edge. And I also splurged, so like this was nine and this was 15 euros. So I'm sorry, I just wanted to have some more princess pony accessories. They are so beautiful, they're glittery. You can you can especially the heads, I mean now let's put it on her, although it's not her head. Um, you can put it on the pony, that's something also something special because some like what, what are you doing with the combs for ponies you just put them next to them like oh. <sighs> okay um, let's see what actually what's actually in here I think that was actually I'm not sure if I wanted to have this in the video now but okay yeah then then let's 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 go uh, through those as well because there's also a princess pony wand in there um, but this setter also had multiple other um, combs um, okay so in the middle of that the camera battery died but I think uh, you have seen that there is one other princess wand in here uh, the dark blue one which I think goes to princess Tiffany so uh, that actually means that Princess Tiffany now has her hat and her wand. Oh, that's so great. I, I love them. I mean, I had one of the wands already before. Um, so I knew how big they were in the first uh, unboxing. When I unboxed one of those, I was like, oh my goodness, they are so huge. They're chunky, really. I, I always think they are like smaller. Um, but like the seller had also some other just like combs and brushes so I got one of those ducky combs which um, I think came with um, baby pony and pretty pals um, baby fleecy and baby wooly uh, that's cool because I have them and I uh, they were my childhood ponies so I think this one like from the color like that's that's very familiar to me so that's cool they are rare or anything, but uh, I figured if I already buy this. By the way, this was just five euro, like five. <laughs> so 
you can get them for cheaper but I, with this one I was like ah, I want to have all of the princess accessory stuff then we have uh, one of the butterfly um, brushes and one of those actually my favorite style of pony brushes the, the flower ones um, I haven't like really researched uh, which one it goes to I think this one definitely I think both go to the um, to the sweet heart sister ponies I could see one of them are... No, I think... I think this one goes uh, to her. So, and uh, they go to the um, sweetheart sister ponies. So that's definitely like cool and the more brushes I, I get now, the, the, the happier <laughs> I am. So. glittery and they have like uh, stars all over here like um, like sculpted stars here as well this is just a normal duck comb one of the butterfly ones and the purple flower one um, and the last uh, package which I know just has accessories so, and as you might have guessed it, Princess Pony accessories. Ooh! They are so big! <laughs> Again, as I thought, when I first had one of the wands in my hand, I was like, oh, they are so big. These are huge! I literally, I had no idea that they are so big. I don't know what I ex expected, but I, if they are thick. This is the style of uh, uh, comb, or uh, you more or less say pick to them. Uh, so the um, glittery star picks that came with the princess ponies. But this shape and kind of style actually also came with the um, with the glittery sweetheart sisters. But you can um, identify them by that the glitter inside is um, like uh, not as thin and, and uh, a lot of glitter, but more like some glitter sprinkles that, that it, they look a little bit different. Uh, but I never had any of them in my hands. So now we are like, wait, did you get the same one twice? No, they are different. Can you see this one's more color intense and this one is a little bit lighter. Um, the thing is that the seller just sold them together. It was like an eBay buy now thing. Again, maybe a little bit too expensive both together for 16 euro, which makes one of them eight euro, which is about what you're gonna pay for them if you are not extremely lucky or something. Um, so, and, and she just sold them together. Maybe otherwise I would have just got one because they really look pretty uh, similar. And like when I was searching that online, which ponies they directly go to, um, it's even more difficult because they are three or even four of those colors that are like turquoise, bluish teal, something around that. And I think, um, yeah. So my guess is that they both came with uh, Princess Ponies from the second Princess Pony set because this one looks awfully, <laughs> an awful lot like the um, one from Princess Taffeta. Princess Taffeta is, um, let me check, Princess Taffeta is the blue one uh, from the second set and I think this one goes to Princess Dawn, this is a little bit lighter. Uh, Princess Dawn is like the pink one that's in the uh, gingerbread pose. Um, but depending on if the pictures are maybe also a little bit differently colored, could also be the one from Princess Starburst. And Princess Starburst is like this pony, so I could pretend it is the one from her. <laughs> I just wanted Princess uh, Star picks. So I don't know why I expected them to be smaller because I was already like blown away by the size of the wand. So how should I not have 
like thought that they are this big but can you see they have this iridescent or well, not iridescent but this glitter inside they have the same like like shapes of stars that have little stars on the stars like this is a beautiful beautiful shape they are really thick and yeah, the back is then uh, smooth so it's just on the front uh, this uh, element that it's like sculpted and yeah this one is the more color intense one this is the lighter one but I'm just happy in general to have some of them and um, now actually let's get to the last package uh, yeah we're already at the last package but it should have more ponies in there and um, before that I actually want to show you what else I bought from this seller all yeah eBay as well um, and it was an auction and he had like other auctions around the same time and then I actually also bought this um, this is as you can read the G1 collectors inventory it's a book with all the generation one ponies by name by set by year and some other things um, this is definitely not new this is from 2008 I think yeah it's from 2008 and um, I know this book since I kind of pretty much started my pony collection um, and when I started in I don't know 2000 14 or something then this one was still all like everywhere available like on, on Amazon or I found it on eBay um, For some reason I never bought it. I don't know and I still actually Like I don't need it at all <laughs> uh, Because there are so many good websites like uh, to go through um, uh, the pony sets the years of the releases the accessories etc etc um, so that you really don't need that and there are some um, like negative points to this so a it is outdated you could say because it's from 2008 but you know the ponies are older than that the pony for ponies uh, it's the ponies from 82 until 80 uh, until 92 um, but there we have the problem it's just the American releases so none of the Euro exclusive ponies are in here uh, that means complete sets that I have that I that I love that I had as a child etc are not in here at all not even mentioned nothing and what I mean by outdated is that this as like a collector's inventory also shares prices like what does this pony worth or something that's like completely outdated you know if you most of the ponies here in there are it says five to ten dollars five to ten dollars five to ten dollars okay yes I I get some of my ponies for ten euro or something but that's it's not the norm especially not for some of the ones that are like super like rare expensive whatever now they then maybe are even like just 15 to 20 and no <laughs> but it's still nice you know to have a book like something printed with just big pictures of the ponies that when you just want to look something up ah yeah this one is a is, is player I, I always mix them up or something you know you don't have to do, do, do. and then you know it's just nice to have something printed and to me this thing is like a collection item on its own already because it's already pretty old and um, now one other negative point which I thought would be good I thought uh, for every pony it would also show the accessories so that's something which I'm constantly looking up online which comb and which color goes to what pony and this is not really helping because it just says main tail light green butterfly brush okay I know how the butterfly brush looks but light green which light green they are probably three different ones or something like that yeah you 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 like there is no not not a um, picture for that you have pictures in the beginning of some of the um, accessories but that 
does not really help. So it's more of, of a novelty item to have it. It's, it's, it's like already a pony collector's history. Um, and you have all the American releases, which are the main biggest releases, but um, no word of anything Euro exclusive or Nirvana pony or whatever. So, but it's nice to have and like, I bought it for 20 euro now, which is like, that was my highest bid that I was willing to pay and then that was also what I had to pay, so that was okay. But the main reason I bought from the seller, actually, was this. It was one auction with five ponies in. And I was like, oh, I'm, this will be so expensive. Um, I will never be able to, to, to get those ponies. Let's Let's just try. Mm, but as there are five ponies in, all of them are new to me, all of them I want and um, let me tell you I uh, went up to I think 100 euro was my um, like my border where I, th where I said like not higher than that because otherwise it um, doesn't make sense for the ponies if you divide the cost. Uh, but like this you could say because I paid uh, 93 dollars, dollars, <laughs> euros, just euros, uh, 93 euros in the end um, for for four ponies which are ex right now I know extremely hard to get and one other pony which I wouldn't consider around that price range, I would more consider around 10 to 15 euro but that still makes it like less than 20 euro for these ponies. Oh. Like, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I wasn't even like, I was willing to give up on those ponies. Uh, you can see they are uh, the winger ponies. Um, there's four of the winger ponies and one other in here. And like I tried so hard, like um, getting them on eBay client and saying, "Hi, is this pony still available?" No, she's already gone. Okay, then I saw them for around I don't know 50 euro. That's that's just not my price range per pony. Then I tried um, on auctions on eBay. It always went up too high to prices over 40 euro per pony, which is just not what I want to pay for a pony. Uh, for one of my childhood ponies, which would look a little bit like this, that's, that's why I'm a little bit stunned. It's it's not Moon Jumper because this one actually is. Um, it's oh my goodness, whirly, whirly. This is whirly, um, but like I would pay more than like my usual, I don't know, 20, 25 euro. That's what, but but not not, not like these prices. So let's get them out. So it's a mixture of windy wings and summer wings. Oh, oh this is so cute. The head is so small. Oh. Uh, this is the only summer wing pony in here. This is Little Flitter. Um, let's where, where, where. This, oh, it's the same same pose right yeah this is another windy wing pony this is flurry they have so nice hair I don't know if the manes are supposed to be a little bit longer but I mean the tails like um, Keep the last one in there. Um, they 
are actually, as I said, this one is from the uh, Summer Wing Pony set, so it is uh, the first released set um, in year year six. So a little flitter year six, so that's that's 87 till 88. And um, these ponies all have these beautiful, like see-through um, butterfly wings. And the summer wings, uh, you can always identify by, they have more like symbols. Uh, this has, like she has a hummingbird, for example. So more like um, birds or insects, bugs, stuff, stuff like that. These are the summer wing ponies. A little flitter's hair is actually supposed to be pink. So that's also the fading pink. I'm not sure if I want to change that. She actually looks pretty cute with the white hair. So, so let's see. And they also have the symbol again on the forehead here. And they're really delicate and small and um, they are about the size, I think, as a normal baby pony. No, let's get one out. Um, but they seem to be a little bit more, like the heads are smaller, so they are a little bit more kind of delicate. Also, they are, their legs are thinner. So, I consider them a little bit to be the predecessor of the Flutter Ponies, which, um, you know, already also have a different shape than the adult ponies. Um, but with the flutter ponies, why didn't they make, I don't know, a third and fourth set of flutter ponies? I mean, they all, like, children back then already lost the wings and um, broke the wings, etc. And these are definitely more stable because I actually don't know why they are so extremely expensive right now. Um, and you most often find them with wings. It's, it's really rare that they are broken off or something because they are directly put into the pony's um, body. So uh, the other three are from the um, set of the Winnie Wings. So the second uh, release uh, of these kind of winger ponies uh, the, the year afterwards, so year seven, which is one of my favorite re uh, pony release years with all of those, like my, my, I don't know, it's my birth year. Maybe that's also why I have like a connection to it, but, um, Little flitter, a little flitter. This is cool breeze. Uh, she has like it's like a palm tree and I don't know what's that, the co 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 coconut maybe. <laughs> um, she is really that that super super cool um, like tropical pony. So very cool color like green body color which is really rare with generation one ponies we've got some ponies with green hair but the green body color that's really really something you don't see very often they are so delicate and and beautiful and of course their um, wings also are not exactly the same you can see they have different shapes which is makes it even more special uh, she has more like a, a snowy theme, frosty theme, at least that's what it looks to me, like a snowflake. And uh, same as the Flutter Ponies, they do not all have it, like their extra symbol on the um, forehead, some have it also on the cheek. So they are definitely like the predecessor of the Flutter Ponies. And from, from like what nowadays, I think they are um, more thought after, people love them more than the Flutter Ponies. I can see why, because the wings are definitely more special um, and you most often get them with the wings, so, but I don't know, I think the flutter ponies are also like very special to me, uh, I, I cannot really say because I just saw them right now and of course I'm in love with them, but flutter ponies, um, they always are very high and in my, in my favorite list um, she uh, looks very similar to like what I had as a child moon jumper the same pose um, of course different colors but that's that's what I remember this pose and Whirly's symbol is I don't even know what it actually is but it's like the sun uh, 
I think with some um, birds flying on the horizon or something and her cheek symbol are just these birds there okay so let's take the last pony out of the box and it's not another winger pony but the theme continues because it's a flutter pony This is Cloud Path. Wow, she's so cute. Do I have one in this pose already? No, I think it's the first one I have in this pose. I think it's even called the Cloud Path pose. And this is cute when the seller even like puts some ribbons in the hair. Although, I mean, these are not the original ribbons, obviously. Um, the Flutter ponies and also the Winger ponies actually came with different ribbons than the normal ponies thinner um, metallic ribbons um, anyways cloud puff uh, is from the second set of uh, flutter ponies or in germany as it was just released as one set belonging to that set um, so that's from year five so the flutter ponies were first and then the summer wings and windy wings came um, but as i said the second set which uh, had ponies like oh no Oh, for example, like Wing Song here. And I have read that they are supposed to be like two different versions of this pony. Some are more pink, some are more purple. Let me tell you, I researched it a little bit, and from what I think is that the pink ponies, the pink cloud puff ponies, have just turned pink because some of them have still these parts of, of purple on their body and I'm just like mm -mm -mm. that 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 wasn't pink from the, in the beginning because what I figured also is that my, um, my wing song has also turned very pink 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 wing song has always been pink but it's a little bit more muted pink than this neon pink so I think my also has changed body color so it's very much possible that this also happens a lot to Club Puff. Mine definitely is purple. It's a really lovely symbol, a cloud, obviously, and with some like wind. Um, the cheek symbol is also this this uh, wind blowing symbol. Uh, also, the ponies, the flutter ponies, also had really long tails and manes, and their bodies are like so delicate and. And, and special this one uh, I have never had a pony in this pose I think this is the last pose missing from me for the flutter ponies and she's looking up in the sky oh, she's so beautiful now I really and I always say that need to get some replacement wings um, I just need to order them I just haven't done it yet um, it's a really special unboxing for me because like a I finished the princess ponies I got so many princess pony accessories. Uh, yes, I splurged a little bit on them. I'm not really proud of paying so much for, for the accessories, but yeah. Um, I finally have this book, which is kind of cool because I go through it. Sometimes I laugh about the prices <laughs> in there, which I'm like, and I finally have some of these winger ponies. I could not believe that I won this auction. I thought it will get so much higher. Um, I'm so happy. I mean, this is like already the, the one of the most beautiful thumbnails, like color-wise, like... Um, so, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Generation 1 Pony um, unboxing. And please uh, tell me in the comments down below if you um, prefer the like themed unboxings or if you're just like, give me everything in one unboxing. I like a variety, so uh, then I can like change it up if you if you prefer it in a different way so see you real soon may the fourth be with you bye